Friday on ESPN. I'm Stuart Scott bringing you the lowdown. Sometimes number one picks don't live up to expectations, and then sometimes they exceed them. Tim Duncan fits into that second category. This two-time former MVP winner raises any team he plays on to title contention with his leadership both on and off the floor. Nuggets, Spurs, up next. Welcome to today's exhibition matchup here at the SBC Center in San Antonio. The San Antonio Spurs will face off against the visiting Nuggets here on ESPN. Good evening, everybody. I'm Bob Fitzgerald here with Bill Walton. Michelle Tafoya will join us later. The players are getting loosened up for the start of the game. Bill, who needs to come up big for their team to win? Fitz, you have to be pretty good just to get on the floor in this league, but these guys are really something special. Tim Duncan is one of the most dominant power forwards in the entire league. Definitely one of the best post defenders in the entire league. He shuts down opposing big men on a regular basis. Standing just across the court is another difference maker. Kenyon Martin is absolutely rock solid at the power forward position. He's such a hard worker out there and he can do a little bit of everything. What a great competitor, no question about it. Thank you, Bill. We're just about ready for the tip to get this one started. Get the tip and we're underway. Michelle Tafoya has some extra info for us. Michelle? Thanks, Fitz. I spoke with the Spurs head coach back by the locker room and his main focus, the inside game. He said that they're aiming to go down low early and often and play very physical basketball. We're going to have a real battle on our hands. Fitz, back to you. Thank you, Michelle. Skips it to Camby. Pump fakes. Camby, Duncan, yanks down the rock. Marcus Camby has a mediocre mid-range shot, but the defensive pressure was definitely above average. Let's it go from the wing. Nails it. Definitely a good play here. Let's see that one from a different angle. Inbound pass. The Nuggets bring it up court, and they're trailing 4-0. Dumps it to the middle. With the shot. Hauled down inside by Bowen. Goes up. Miller gets the inside rebound. Tony Parker is going to make that shot 99.9% .9 of the time. He wasn't wide open, but with his skill at finishing, he definitely expected that one to go down. Ginobili gets the reach-in call, and that's his first foul. Pass to Miller. Swings it to Leonard. Passes to the high post. Steps back. Unloads from nine. Finds it off back nine. Passes to Ginobili. Pass to Parker. Looks to break his man down. Parker. Yes! We can't let that one go by without taking another look. When the opportunity presents itself, you have to take advantage. The Nuggets advance, and we have a six-point game. To Anthony. Gives the up fake. Shoots. Can't put an end to the scoring drought. It's one on one. Anthony gets the whistle for blocking. That's his first foul. The pass to Parker. From 17 feet out. Rips four. Sometimes folks forget about his decent mid range jumper. He can definitely nail it given the chance. They bring it up court. About nine and a half minutes left here in the first. Pump fakes. 
Miller. Duncan gets the defensive rebound. Swings it to Duncan. Passes to Bowen. Pulls the trigger. Camby snatches the ball down from way above the rim. Pass to Anthony. Passes to the left block. Shoots from the post. Good. I like to play in real time, but I think I like this one even better on the replay. Nice bucket. The inbound to Parker. The Spurs bring it up court, and they're in front by six. To Duncan. Dumps it down low. Slides in. Lays it right in. I like to play in real time, but, but I like it even better in replay. I love seeing all the hard work that goes into getting a bucket. They bring it up court, coming up on the eight-minute mark here in the first. Gets it to the baseline. Leonard gets it to fall. Passes to Ginobili. The pass to Bowen. Pass to Duncan. Off balance shot. Nice board by the nine year veteran out of Massachusetts. That leader's a tricky shot to knock down because it wasn't there for him that time. Bounces it to Anthony. Sizing up his man. To Camby. Shot clock winding down. Marcus it falls. Camby. The Spurs bring it up court and they're leading 10 to 6. Swings it to Duncan. Bounce pass to Bowen. Takes the three. Pass hauled in off the defensive glass by Camby. Bruce Bowen is better off taking that shot when he's wide open, Fitz. Otherwise, with his mediocre range, he doesn't have a chance. The pass to Anthony from 20 feet out. That's rebound number five by Duncan. to Bowen. Passes to Duncan. Let's it go from the left block. It falls short. Skip pass to Anthony. The bounce pass to Camby. Shoots. On the mark. Impressive play, Fitz. This one's worthy of a second look. The Spurs bring it up court, but we have a two-point game. To Ginobili. Pass, cross court. Tries to back him in. Seven on the shot clock. Skips it to Ginobili to stop the drought. Too much mustard on that one. Manu Ginobili thought he'd have a bit more room for that shot, but the defender read him so well, got close enough, and flustered him. The skip pass to Anthony. The handoff to Anthony. Pump fakes for the tie. It's in. Carmelo Anthony. off to Ginobili. Gives the up fake. Ginobili gets the bucket. Talk about earning a replay. This is definitely worth seeing again. The Nuggets work it up for. They're shooting 45% from the floor.
misses to Camby. Dis the shot was good by Camby. Andre Miller did a great job with that pinpoint bounce pass. You love to play with guys who will set you up like that. Swings it to Bowen. Jacks up a triple. Yanked down by Leonard. Pass to Miller. Dumps it to Anthony. Glides in. Finishes with a soft touch. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. They bring it up court. Coming up on the four-minute mark here in the first. The pass to Bowen. Seven on the shot clock. Pump fakes. Puts up the tray. Automatic. If you were to make a list of the premier three-point shooters in the league, his name would have to be on it. He's an absolute sniper from behind the arc. Passes to the left side. Passes to Miller. Seven on the shot clock. Gives the up fake. Launches beyond the arc. Duncan reels in another rebound. That's his sixth. To Duncan. Swings it to Bowen. From just inside the arc. Bounces off the left rim and out. The fast break. Bounces it to Leonard. Pass to Martin. From the high post. Nope. They bring it up court. 2.41 left in the first quarter. The feed to Duncan. Throws it up. Yes. The name of the game is finishing off the play. Fits. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination. And he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. The Nuggets bring it up four and they're down by three. The pass to Anthony. Anthony misses from just inside the arc. That shot was an absolute prayer, and for all you agnostics, your dreams are now coming true. Something tells me that's not what the coach had in mind. Swings it to Bowen, gives the up fake, shoots the three, Camby gets the rebound. Passes to the baseline. Sails in, gets the lane. Feeds it to the middle. An emphatic rejection by Camby. Good. The fans at home need to see this one again. You can really appreciate the finer details of the game when you get to see exactly how he got the score. Miller heads up court and he's got four assists. Bounce pass to Martin. Tries to back down. the shot clock shoots left block sinks it the name of the game is finishing off the play fits that wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination and he had to earn what he got that time nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there the spurs bring it up court they're shooting 20 percent from deep shoots tries to lay it in but it doesn't go Passes to Martin. Pass to Anthony. From the corner. Awesome pass by the five-year vet out of Cincinnati. Put the ball in his hands on the offensive end, and good things are going to happen. He is extremely dangerous. The pass to Ginobili. From downtown. Ripped down from the stratosphere by Canby. Pass right side. Dishes inside. Miller flips it in for two.
three second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass, cross court, backs down, passes to the baseline, takes it in, ripped down inside by Camby. Tim Duncan has got to be upset that one didn't fall. Anytime you get right to the rim like that, it's tough to miss. Duncan with another denial. That's his fourth block of the game. There's the horn, and we've got a tight one at the end of one, 22 to 19. Martin inbounds to start the second quarter. Come on, defense. Passes to the right block. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Duncan crashes the boards inside. It's one on one. Swings it to Bowen. Passes to Nesterovich. Dumps it off to Ginobili for three, nails it. NBA action can be so quick, it's a good thing we've got the replay ready for you. They bring it up court, about 11 and a half minutes left here in the second. Skips it to Leonard. Skip pass to Anthony. The tray. Nice shot. Cans the shot. Not to be outdone, they enter right back with a three of their own. The Spurs bring it up court and they trail 25 to 22. Bounces it to Bowen. To Duncan. The 10 footer. Mark yanks down the defensive rebound. Yeah, that's how to bang the board, Steve. Pass to Anthony. The bounce pass to Miller. Dishes it down low. Fires. It's in. Nice shot down low. It's nice always shot. a good thing to see players making plays. He saw the opening and he took it in to score the basket. Bowen inbounds to Parker. Passes to Duncan. Tries to post him up. Pass to Parker. The pass to Bowen. Skips it to Nesterovich. Dumps it off. Five on the shot clock. Shoot from the corner. Snaps there. That's good team basketball right there, Fitz. The Nuggets advance and they're leading by three. Swings it to Leonard. Backs in. Five on the shot clock. Shoots with the clock winding down. Bricks it off the back of the rim. Feeds it inside. Duncan. Watches the lay in. They're running. I like that, D. Nice rebound. Passes to the baseline. From the wing. Drops. Definitely a first-rate play. He was able to take control and get the best scoring opportunity he had available. Ginobili heads up court, and he's got eight points. To Bowen. Passes to Ginobili. Fires top of the key. Hits right rim and doesn't fall. Manu Ginobili has a mediocre mid-range shot, but the defensive pressure was definitely above average. Cross court. Seven on the shot clock. Tries the spin move. The skip pass to Camby. From 11 feet away, That's Duncan elevates and yanks down the rebound. Bounce pass to Bowen. The pass to Ginobili. Humphakes shoots it up. Can't nail the jumper. 
The defense did a very good job of staying right up on him, and his middling mid-range game just wasn't up to the task. Pass to Martin. With the hook shot. Nice the pressure. defensive Keep rebound by Nesterovic. Swings it to Ginobili. Passes to Parker. Is looking to do something with it. Parker. On the mark. That was an excellent play. Watch the job he does here, Fitz. Nice bucket. The Nuggets working up court. We have a three-point game. Skip pass to Martin. Tries to back him in. From 11 feet away, board number 10 grabbed by Duncan. When you take that kind of shot, you failed on offense. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. To Ginobili, with the crossover, tosses it up. Dynamite move by the third-year man out of Argentina. They bring it up court, coming up on the seven-minute mark here in the second. Pass to Leonard. The leaner. It's knocked away. Stepped on the line and they'll give the ball up. The pass to Buckner. Let's it go from the wing. Misses everything. Hammers it in. Some guys can dunk, and then some guys just throw in a little something extra on it. Nice jam. The Spurs work it up court, and they're trailing by three. Bounces it to Bowen. Skips it to Duncan. Duncan. Rebounded yeah, by Kmart. The, board, the Nuggets control the loose ball. Dumps it down low. To the rack. Drops in the pretty lane. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. The Spurs bring it up court. They're shooting 41% from the floor. Bounce pass to Bowen. To Duncan. Takes a step back. Steps back and fires. Gets the bucket. There's not a whole lot more one can say about Tim Duncan that hasn't already been out here. He is the very definition of smooth and low post. What he's going to do is give you 25, 30 points a night, 10 to 15 boards, and you can anchor that whole your entire organization together. Tim Duncan represents the conquest of subjects over height. Packs him down. Passes to Miller. Pass to Anthony. Seven on the shot clock. The dish to Nene. Shoots from the post. Connects. The bounce pass to Bowen. Pump fakes from downtown. There's it. As you watch this replay, you realize that every player wants those highlight real plays. But it's a team game in the end, and every contribution counts. That's what makes basketball the best sport in the entire world. This is it to the middle. Unloads from nine. It's ripped down by Martin. Martin. Lays it right in. They bring it up court. Coming up on the four-minute mark here in the second. Passes to Bowen. Pass to Duncan. Takes the turnaround, Jay. It falls short. Feeds it inside. 
Off the hop step. Money. He drove that one right into the teeth of the defense, Fitz. I don't care how that one looked. That was not an easy layup. Spurs advance it. They're shooting 45% from the floor. You know how we do. Unloads. Clanks it off the front of the rim. It's one on one. Brent Berry needs a little more space to hit that jumper reliably. Obviously, the defender had other plans. Pass to Anthony. Feeds it to Martin. Then authority. Now that was definitely a power move there. He took it in and jammed it down with some real force. The Spurs advance it, and they're trailing 41 to 35. Pass it to Brown. To Bowen. The leaner. Sweet rebound by the third-year man out of Brazil. That leaner's a tricky shot to knock down. It, it wasn't there for him that time. Tries to post him up. The skip pass to Buckner. Seven on the shot clock. Let's fly from the wing. Puts too much on it. Swings it to Bowen. Pass across court. The pass to Bowen. Gives the up fake to stop the drought. Gets it to fall. Talk about earning a replay. This is definitely worth seeing again. They bring it up court. 208 left in the second. to Buckner, to Anthony, five on the shot clock, skip pass to Nene, Nene gets his sixth point of the game. Nene wouldn't be your first choice to shoot the mid-range shot, but who's going to argue when he gets it to fall like that? The Spurs bring it up court and they've nailed their last three shots from beyond the arc. Pass to Duncan. Duncan misses the leaner. The Nuggets advance it and they lead by five. Pass to Buckner. The tough shot. Bowen calls in his third rebound. Nene should think twice before he takes that shot. And if he still wants to shoot it, he should think a third time. That's not his game. Passes to Bowen. The trade. There's the 11th rebound by Duncan. Tries to drop it in, but it won't go. The pass to Martin. Rejection by Duncan. The Nuggets will get this one back. Inbound pass. Dumps it to the middle. Shoots from the post. It falls. Eight second differential between the shot and game clock. Dumps it down low. To the rim. Graceful finish. When you get in close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic your in fits. That was a nice play. The Nuggets work it up court and they'll play for the last shot here. Gives the up fake. The three ball. Missed it. The buzzer beater. It's off. And that concludes the first half. The score, 45 to 40. Now that we have a little breather, let's check out the ESPN game track with Bill Walton. Bill, it's all yours.
Carmelo Anthony has been scoring with regularity in the first half. He's really shouldered the burden for them offensively and has helped give them the lead going into halftime. Manu Ginobili has been going all out on the other side and it's still so very close. You know he's going to come back ready to play in the second half. We'll see if they can take the lead here. Thanks, Bill. Both teams have taken the floor. It's time for the second half. Anthony throws it in to start the third. Let's send it down to our sideline reporter, Michelle Tafoya. Michelle, what do you got? Thanks, Bob. Well, during the half I spoke with the head coach of the Nuggets, he told me that despite their lead, he thinks they can play even better. He wants his team to stay focused and, quote, not lose sight of the goal at hand. We'll see if they meet his expectations in the second half. Back to you, fellas. Thanks, Michelle. Thank the three-pointer was missed by Anthony. Way to play the board can carry with that aggressive lead. Gets it to Parker. Bounces it to Bowen. From downtown, Camby snatches the rebound. Swings it to Leonard. Hump fakes. Mysterovich grabbed the inside rebound. Passes to the right block. Puts it up. Blows the layup. Penetrate. Nice position. That's it. That's it. To Camby. Tries to back down. The pass to Martin. Shoots with the clock winding down. Automatic. Martin. Watching a real deal NBA player work to get his offense is always worth a replay or two. Good job. Duncan inbound to Parker. Parker works it up court and he can pick up assist number five this trip down the floor. Bounce pass to Ginobili. Seven on the shot clock. Jacks up a three. Impressive trade by the third year man in Argentina. Well, the defense was in the area, but you're guarding a sharpshooter like that. You can't give him that good of a look. The bounce pass to Anthony. Crosses it over. Top of the key. Count it. Definitely some replay worthy material on this one, Fitz. Watch how he really took advantage of the situation. They bring it up court. Pass to Ginobili. Passes to Bowen. Takes a step back. Step back and shoots. Rebounded inside by Camby. Tim Duncan has a mediocre mid-range shot, but the defensive pressure was definitely above average. Pass left wing to Martin. Steps back, 13 feet out. Mysterovich rips it down inside. Passes to Bowen. The skip pass to Parker. Pump fakes for three. Yanked out from well above the rim by Kmart. Swings it to Leonard. The pass to Anthony. Gives the up fake. The trade was missed by Anthony. Carmelo Anthony is better off taking that shot when he's wide open, Fitz. Otherwise, with his mediocre range, he doesn't have a chance. Skips it to Duncan. Pass to Bowen. Fires the three. It's nice good. Oh. 
passes to Miller. Miller comes up empty from 19 feet out. The pass to Bowen. To Nesterovich. With the step back from the wing. Yes! We've got to take a look at this one again, kids. It's all about making plays like he just did. Inbound pass to Miller. The Nuggets advance and they're shooting 16% from downtown. Swings it to Anthony. The long two was buried by Anthony. This young man, Carmelo Anthony, is one of those players that when he's on the court, you just can't keep your eyes off him. As far as I'm concerned, he was better than advertised as a rookie in 2003, and he almost single-handedly brought the Nuggets back from the dead into a playoff contender. Who would have ever thought? It's two on one. The finisher. Ginobili grabs the rebound, but that's only his second so far. Backs down. Mark him down, baby. Mark him down. Takes a three. Duncan yanks down the rock off the offensive glass. Bounces it to Duncan. Tries to back him in. Cross court. The pass to Bowen. With the fadeaway, Martin yanks down the rock off the defensive glass. Radislav Nesterovic must have seen something that I couldn't from here because it looked like he never should have taken that shot. Bounces it down low. Gives the up fake. Flanked off back iron by Camby. Pass to Bowen. Passes cross court. Backs down. They've got to rush it. Pump fakes. Denied by Leonard. Lays it right in. Parker heads up court, and he's got eight points. Passes to Ginobili. Dishes to Parker. To end the drive. It's good. To Anthony. The 10 footer drops. Marcus Camby. You have to love these post up battles. It's all a chess game down there, and he definitely had the checkmate move there. The Spurs bring it up court, and we have a five point game. Pass to Bowen. The pass to Ginobili. Tries to back him in. Seven on the shot clock. Shoots from the post. Bricks off right iron. No good. Manu Ginobili got in close to the basket, but the defender stayed right with him, and he never got that good look that he needed. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. Parker advances it, and he's got four assists. Passes to Bowen. Swings it to Duncan. Was out of bounds there, and it'll cost him possession. Nesterovich will head to the bench. Nene comes back in after sitting on the bench for a while. Inbound pass to Boykins. The Nuggets bring it up court, and they're on an 8-2 run. Pass to Bowen. Passes to Nene. Top of the key. Snatched in off the defensive glass by Rose. Passes to the right side. Rips it down. 
Once he got inside that time, there was no doubt about it. He was going to throw it down. The Nuggets working up court, and they're ahead, 57 to 52. The pass to Bowen. Passes to the baseline. Martin. Barry snatches it up. To Bowen. Buries it. Ryan Bowen. That's how you rise up and throw it down. You can't get more high percentage than that. The Spurs bring it up court. They're shooting 40% from the floor. The handoff to Brown. Off-balance shot. Board number 10 grabbed by Kmart. Fitz, this third quarter has not been kind to them I offensively. Got it, I got it. Skip pass to Buckner from long range. Nice shot. On the money. Buckner. It's always a good thing to see players making plays. He saw the opening and he took it in to score the basket. They bring it up court. 244 left in the third. Swings it to Rose. Pass to Barry. From the corner. Nene gets airborne and hauls in the rebound. That leaner's a tricky shot to knock down. It wasn't there for him that time. To Bowen. Passes to Martin. Seven on the shot clock. Rose clean the defensive glass. Pass cross court. One on one. Five on the shot clock. Gets the bucket. That was an excellent play. It's a terrific job of getting himself into perfect scoring position. The Nuggets work it up court and they're ahead by eight. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Backs him down. The pass to Buckner. Seven on the shot clock. Too long and it was missed by Nene. Nene got a great shot opportunity there, but somehow he just couldn't drain it. He can't be pleased about that. Passes to the baseline. The tough shot. Rose scoops up his fourth rebound so far. Plays it right in. He really came through on this play. You can see how he got into perfect position to score the second time around on the replay. Inbound pass. Nuggets bring it up court. They're shooting 47% from the floor. Pass to Bowen. Passes to Martin. Stuffs it in. That's simply a nice finish right there, Fitz. He didn't have to get all fancy with it. He just wanted to. The Spurs advance it, and they trail by eight. Swings it to Barry. Isolates. 13 feet out. Sweet rebound by the third-year man out of Brazil. With the crossover. Rejection by Barry. To Barry. Jacks up a triple. Snatched by Buckner. Brent Barry fired up a prayer. He knew the moment he released it, it had no chance whatsoever. The pass to Buckner. Beyond the arc. Gets the kind right. roll off the front of the rim. Cannons it the entire length of the court. Missed. 
We're at the end of the third, and it's a double-digit game. The score, 69-56. to 56. Rose throws it in to start the fourth quarter. Pass to Barry. Bounce pass to Parker. Seven on the shot clock. Gives the up fake. Parker snatched up by Bowen. The defender had him hearing footsteps, and he couldn't maintain concentration on the shot. Nice D there. Passes to Bowen. The bounce pass to Martin. Off-balance shot. Yes! It's always tougher to hit these leaners, Fitz. These aren't easy to make, so that's a nice job of staying with the shot. Parker brings it up court. He hasn't hit a shot from deep. Skips it to Barry. Dumps it to Parker. The Nuggets touched it last right before it went out of bounds. Off the inbound. That is the twine. Tony Parker was giving up some height down there, but he didn't let that stop him. That's a nice move on the inside. They bring it up court right around the 11-minute mark here in the fourth. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Gets it to fall. The Spurs bring it up court, and they trail 73 to 58. Pass, far side. Seven on the shot clock. Crosses it over. Cross with the runner. Hits the left rim and out. Sometimes a guy will be surprised how well his move worked, and that'll get him flustered on the shot. Maybe that's what happened there. The fast break. The pass to Barry. Nails it. That is a real power dunk all the way through. He really bears down when he gets near that hoop and throws it down with authority. The Nuggets advance it, and they've drained their last five shots from the paint. To Bowen. From the free throw line, clanks it off the front of the rim. Skip pass to Barry. Passes across court. Seven on the shot clock. Shoots with the clock winding down. That's only the second rebound by Massenburg. Dumps it off to Barry. Pass to Brown. Fires, top of the key. Hey, Martin grabs his second move. rebound Step of the game. The up. defender had him hearing footsteps, nice and he couldn't That's maintain it. concentration on the shot. Nice D there. Passes to Boykins. The feed to Nene, raises up, count it. I like to play in real time, but I think I like this one even better on the replay. Nice bucket. Parker works it up court. He's shooting 50% from the floor. Bounces it to Barry. Barry picks up his fifth quarter of the quarter. He's got nine in the game. Brent Barry got his legs under him and buried that one. Way to step it up. The Nuggets work it up court and they're ahead 75 to 63. Pass, top of the key. Shoots from the post. What a pass by the seven year vet out of Eastern Michigan. Parker heads up court and he's got 12 points. Swings it to Barry. Pass to Massenburg. The pass to Brown. Seven on the shot clock. Launches beyond the arc. It falls. Impressive play, Fitz. 
this one's worthy of a second look. The Nuggets advance and they're shooting 52% from the floor. Swings it to Buckner, feeds it to the middle. Nene can't finish it in the post. The defender stayed right in his face and denied him the easy look. That's great interior defense. The skip pass to Barry. Five on the shot clock from 20 feet out. Nene rips it down. Tries to post him up. Dishes inside. Backs down. The hook shot wouldn't go down by Nene. He got great position down low, but the defense flustered him. That shot was worthless. Passes to Rose. Bounce pass to Barry. For three. Snatched down inside by Nene. Pass to Buckner. Seven on the shot clock. Throws it up. Misses the low percentage shot. Rose. The pass to Barry. Shoot from the corner. Money! You think being off balance would have bothered him more on that jumper kick, but he had no problem whatsoever hitting that one. The Nuggets work it up court. We have a nine point game. The tip was no good by Martin. It's picked off by Martin. Loose inside after the block by Massenburg. Things got jammed up near the rim, and that left a golden opportunity for the steal. Once he got inside that time, there was no doubt about it. He was going to throw it down. Inbound pass to Boykins. The Nuggets advance it, and they'll try to stop the run. Pass to Bowen. Dishes it down low. Parker intercepts the pass. Here's the break. Bringing up court, coming up on the five minute mark here in the fourth. Buckner launches beyond the arc. Snatched down inside by Rose. Greg Buckner can hit from out there on occasion, but he needs to get more open than that. The bounce pass to Barry. Cross court. Seven on the shot clock. Gives the up fake. Let's it go from the wing. Doesn't get enough under it. Swings it to Bowen. Passes to Martin. Tries to back him down. Shoots for the post. Massenburg pulls it down inside. Are scrounging for points here in the fourth quarter. Pump fakes. Parker gets nothing but air. Skips it to Buckner. The pass to Martin. To win the run. Automatic. The fans at home need to see this one again. You can really appreciate the finer details of the game when you get to see exactly how he got the score. Parker advances it, and he's got six assists. Bounce pass to Barry. Pass to Rose. Fires from the right block. Too much mustard on that one. 
Malik Rose chose an awfully difficult shot there. I can see it if he had to beat the clock or something, but in that situation, they should have tried for something a lot better. Passes to the baseline. From the left block, Massenberg grabs a defensive rebound. The pass to Rose. Barry gives the up fake, unloads, setting up, misses the J after setting up that look with the pump fake. The steal by Buckner. Pass to Martin. Jams it home. That's how you rise up and throw it down. You can't get more high percentage than that. They bring it up court, 236 left in the game. Swings it to Barry. Sizing up his man. The pull up Jay. Yanked down off the defensive boards by Nene. They're running. Pass to Buckner. To Buckner. From just inside the arc, nails it. He was able to put his stamp on that one. When your number's called, that's the way you want to come through. The inbound to Parker. The Spurs work it up court, and they're behind by 11. The pass to Brown. To stop the drop. No good, and they continue to trail by double figures. It's one on one. Passes to the baseline. To the rack. No good, but they still have a double-digit lead. Kenyon Martin has got to be upset that one didn't fall. Anytime you get right to the rim like that, it's tough to miss. Pass to Brown. Brown misses the low percentage shot. Passes to Bowen. Bounces it to Boykins. Drives to the hole. Ripped down from the stratosphere by Rose. Feeds it inside. Backs him down. The six-footer was blown by by Barry. Brent Barry tried his best down there, but the D got in the mix and he couldn't get anything to fall. Close, but no prize here. Swings it to Boykins. Tries to back down. Five on the shot clock. Shoots with the clock winding down. There's the six rebound by Massenburg. Here's the break. Helps it inside. The Spurs turn this one over out of bounds. Massenburg will leave the floor. Camby looks fresh coming back in the floor. The Nuggets bring it up court, and this game's pretty much in the bag. Pass to Anthony. To Leonard. There's the horn. That signifies the end of the game, and that'll do it. The Nuggets beat the Spurs 83 to 72. It was a hard fought game, Bill. You can say that again. The Nuggets were much more fluid on offense, and you can see by their advantage in assists. When you play unselfishly and always work to get the best shot possible, can make all the difference, and today it That's certainly right. did. Thank you, Mr. Walton. It's now time to see the player of the game. Martin dominated the game. He finishes with 18 points, 13 rebounds, right. and he's our ESPN player of the game. Well, that'll do it for Bill Walton, Michelle Tafoya, and the rest of our ESPN crew. Bob Fitzgerald saying so long, and we'll see you next time.